Turner syndrome affects one in every 2,000 women. It had been first discovered and defined in 1938 by Henry Turner. As you just may have heard, Turner syndrome affects one out of 2,000 women. It is not a genetic disease, which means that the child cannot get the disease from its parents. Instead, it is caused of a problem with the girl's chromosomes, such as a genetic mutation. Normally, a girl has two X chromosomes. However, a girl with Turner syndrome has only one X chromosome, or one X chromosome with part of another X chromosome. This much is known by researchers, but they don't know the exact causes of it yet. Most of the times, Turner syndrome is diagnosed um, at birth or during infancy. Symptoms during this time period include a wide or webbed or a web-like neck, a small receding lower jaw, a high narrow roof of mouth, low, low set ears, uh, drooping eyelids, broad chest and widely spread nipples, short hands, arms that turn outwards at elbows, fingernails that curve upwards, um, swelling of the hands and feet, um, slightly smaller than average height, and delayed growth. Um, however, symptoms change or are slightly different as an individual gets older. Some indications in older girls and young women include no growth spurts during expected times, short structure, um, learning disabilities. These tend to be in areas such as, well, spatial concepts such as math, difficulty in social situations, failure to begin sexual changes expected during puberty, and end to the menstrual cycle. Turner syndrome is diagnosed by examining a karyotype of white blood cells. From this test, it can be concluded that an individual may in fact have this disorder. Um, anyone who is doubtful about whether or not they might have this disorder should definitely consider um, talking to a health professional about having karyotype performed. P.S. In the social environment, it is not negatively affected, but more in a positive tone. Because of the treatment available in today's world, it can be disguised as if it, they were normal. Even though they can be perceived as normal, the culture of the human psycho in the general term would make it impossible for these women to lead a full life and have children because of their condition. After testing positive for Turner syndrome, it is advised that more tests are performed. This is because that with Turner syndrome, there are other disease or other complications um, in the kidney, heart, hearing um, that may be associ associated with Turner syndrome. Um, if found early enough, preventative ment or measures can be taken. Common treatments consist of growth hormone therapy and pregnancy and fertility treatment. With these, a patient is more likely to be able to become pregnant and reach a natural height. Turner syndrome may be small, but it affects people like us every day. And we can help find the change and cure for this syndrome. Here's how you can help. You can help by calling the toll-free number of 1-800-365-9944 or visiting the website of turnersyndrome.org. And together, we can make a difference.